What's going on guys, it's Sam here again, and today I have another tutorial for you. So what we're going to be going over today is how to upscale or up-res images and videos inside of DaVinci Resolve. Now this is really useful if you have an older camera that maybe only shoots in 1080p and you need to finish in 4K. So there's a difference between just scaling images and videos up and actually using the upscale feature in DaVinci Resolve. If you're just scaling things up, you're actually not gaining any sort of quality to the video, it's just scaling things up and it's still the same resolution resolution ultimately. But with the upscale feature in DaVinci Resolve, it actually uses artificial intelligence and some image analysis processes that allow you to actually get a little bit more detail out of your image so that it looks like a real 4K or uh, upscaled image. And that's what I'm going to show you here today. So it's useful for a lot of things. And uh, one of these is, you know, for example, if you look at the Action Essentials 2 pack, this is stock footage created by Andrew Kramer and Video Copilot. I have the 720p version and I bought that a long time ago, probably 10 years ago. And it's a little outdated because, you know, it's 720p. So what's useful about this technique is that we can now get back some of the things that we may have lost to the resolution boom, which has occurred in the past couple years and make some things relevant again that aren't anymore so i want to create a you know a car explosion say and um you know if i shot it on a 4k quality camera you know if i'm compositing elements that are 720p into my image it's not going to look so good so i'll quickly show you guys how to do that and then we'll go through some other shots here as well and uh, you can see the difference that it makes so i have a 4k resolution project set up right now and what we're going to do is so we're going to go to the footage and we're going to right click on it and then go to clip attributes and if you look down here we see the super scale setting all right so what you can do is uh you know my clip is 720p so i want to go up to 4k resolution so we're going to go 3x so that's essentially going to multiply the resolution by three times and now we get into the sharpness and noise reduction settings. So if your image is noisy, um, you could use these noise reduction settings. I wouldn't recommend it. I would personally just do noise reduction myself in a later phase and I can show you guys how to do that if you would like in another tutorial. I generally leave this on low. For the sharpness, you can get good results leaving it on low. Um, for this, I tried it on high and I actually got really good results. Sometimes if you go up to high, on footage with a lot of edges and things like that it can actually look worse so i'm going to go with high for this particular clip but that might not suit your clip so maybe just do some trial and error so we're going to click ok here and now if we zoom in so uh, my project setting is currently image scaling and we're scaling the entire image to fit uh, now if you want to see what you're doing when you're up resing what you can do is center crop with no resizing and if you see now, if we undo our upscale, that was the original size. And now with the upscale, that's our new size. Okay. So just for comparison's sake, I'm going to set this back to scale entire image to fit and we'll save those settings. So now if you take a look, our upscaling, you can see if you look at the edges, they get much sharper here. So that's without the upscaling and that is with the upscaling. So you can see we actually get a pretty good amount more detail. And obviously uh, these clips were shot on a red back in the day, so they actually were much higher quality than 720p. So let's take a look at another example to get an even better picture of what this is doing. So if we go over here to this image and we take a look, you can see it's already pretty sharp. Now we can zoom in here and uh, now we're getting into a little graininess here. We're gonna right clip, go to clip attributes again, We'll go to the super scale and this was t shot at 1080p so we'll go 2x and then we'll set the sharpness to medium and then we'll set the noise reduction to low and we're going to click ok and now you can see instantly this image is much sharper than it was before so that's without the the super scaling and that's with without with so you can see that actually makes a pretty big difference and you're going to see it in this text as well. That's without the super scaling and that's with the super scaling. So that gives us a lot more sharpness in that image. And then if we scale out, you can even see we're getting so much more detail in here. We can check out this clip as well. This one's another one that has a lot of detail. So what we'll do is we'll do the same thing. We'll go 2x and we'll go to sharpness and we'll go to high sharpness. This is what I was talking about. So we have a little bit more grain in this image. Now, you might like this look. I would personally just sharpen it 
myself then i would have a little bit more control but uh let's go back into the clip attributes and we'll go down to medium and we'll click ok and now that's looking much better so now if we check versus none now you can see a big difference here i'm getting a lot more detail zoomed in here so if you look at these details look at how much more detail we're getting then Now, overall, DaVinci has really good artificial intelligence. Their noise reduction is excellent as well. This is kind of along the same type of lines as the noise reduction features. But, you know, as you can see, this really makes a big difference. And um, if you're delivering to a client in 4K and you shot it at 1080p, for example, and you upscale it to 4K, they're not going to be able to tell the difference. And you can actually get a really clean image out of this. What you can even try as well, since we have a little bit of grain, you can do medium noise reduction. It's softening it just a little bit, but we're getting rid of that noise. And that actually looks pretty good. Now, I wouldn't recommend using this as a, like a normal workflow where you shoot in 1080 to deliver in 4K. Um, if you can, obviously shooting in 4K is better, but this is a really good process to run your footage through if you need that extra resolution. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope this was helpful. If you guys would like me to make a noise reduction tutorial in DaVinci, I would love to do that. Also, I'm hoping to make, you know, like an explosion tutorial using some of these elements that I will be upscaling. So if you want to see that, you know, click the like button, hit subscribe, and uh, comment any future videos you'd like me to do. Any input or feedback is really helpful to me and it means a lot. I'm really trying to grow this channel so any support you guys show is very much appreciated. So thanks again for watching and I uh, hope you guys have a great day.